Alright guys and welcome back to another video. So today we've got two races once again in the BMW M3 spec series. The first race is around Mid-Ohio in which we have a race in which we follow someone for all of it. Every single lap is quite fast so we get into the slipstream for the majority of the race. And the second race is around Silverstone in which we have a little bit of a rammer. So Mid-Ohio is the first one like I was saying uh, in the BMW at the back of the field. And uh, we've got a guy somewhere around here, I don't know if he's in front of us or behind us, who we're going to pretty much follow until uh, lap 6, the final lap. Uh, he's quite quick, He's uh, I think he's like level 500. Uh, so yeah, it's the guy behind us in P15, Semobo, or Semo B, um, who we're going to follow for the majority of the race. It's, it's somewhat interesting, we have a, a very good battle through the field. Uh, he's just sort of dragging, a, dragging us along for the most of it, the majority of it. Uh, we've also got another guy called 28 Cakes Lair who was in a different video, um, which I only realised once recording this. I didn't even see him in the game. But this is the guy next to us, Semo Boy or Semo B, uh, however you say it, in the Tic Tac uh, BMW livery there. I actually haven't seen that livery in the store page. Um, I don't know if you have to sort of search that in, but I quite like that livery there. You can see he gets spun around because uh, unfortunately it goes free wide into that corner there where you don't really want to go free wide. Uh, it's quite off camber. Um, quite narrow uh, I think the whole track is quite narrow so going free right free wide round here is not really a good idea uh, but we're coming on on to alongside 28 kicks later there we're being a bit cheeky riding as much of the curb as we can and uh, here we're gonna make it free wide once again almost four wide at this point and yeah you can see here it's not really working we can see show mantis there who has uh, somehow done a pretty good flip to the side there uh, I didn't really have the room to do much else. He kind of squeezed us into a Ford Y uh, sandwich. Uh, but we've got Semobai who is uh, taking us out a little bit there. Uh, nothing too major, but I think he's desperate to try to get through. And he does have a 1.5 second penalty there. And I think that's probably because of the contact he made a little bit with us there. And that's because of the new severe penalty system in the game, which if you didn't see the previous video, I think is an atrocious uh, thing Turn 10 have done to the game. It just makes it 10 times worse. And then you know the penalty system just doesn't work so when you go off wide on the grass and you slow down it's going to give you more severe penalty for that and it makes zero sense whatsoever uh, so that's just my opinion on it there but we're up into p10 by lap two it hasn't been an amazing start you know it's been a bit carnage especially around here mid ohio it's quite hard to you know get past people because the track's so narrow uh, people can defend quite well but we've got semo by who is right behind us uh, coming through all of these corners into the last sector here and I think he's probably going to dive it into one of these corners unless we make a mistake but we got quite wide we missed the apex quite a lot into that corner there and we're going to make it somewhat free wide once again it's been almost I think it was four wide at that point it's been three or four wide about four or five times in this race already it's been a bit crazy at this point but we've got Semo by who uh, managed to fly his way through there and uh, take p8 so we've just got to try hang on to the back of him uh, which we do for the most of the race and try win it uh, we'll see if we can get close to winning it in the end we don't have the best pace i think he has a bit more pace than us because uh, i'm still trying to drive this driving style as i say as usual uh, but we can see coming into turn one we managed to cut it a little bit there and these guys in front of us aren't doing it but there is a few people in the lobby which are so you might as well do it um, I always tell that people, if uh, if uh, a couple of people in the lobby are doing it, you might as well take the advantage because, you know, they're going to get that that extra time uh, in the sort of lap. So if you're if you're down by five tenths by the end of quality or whatever or in the race, you know, it might be because of you haven't cut uh, turn one. So you might as well just do it whilst it's in the game. Um, but we come now to the sort of middle of uh, lap three now, halfway distance. And uh, we've got a whole gaggle of cars in front of us, these three guys. I'm going to just try to find a way through us. I think at this point we was quite noticeable that Semabai was quite fast. I don't know if he was in practice, so I think we were just being a bit cautious of him and uh, trying not to get in his way too much because we know if we're just going to slow each other down if we're both overtake, overtaking each other. Uh, but we somewhat almost make it free wide once again. It's just a lot of free wide action uh, in this race. You can see we've got Brian Butter there who goes... Uh, quite wide into the penultimate corner and that allows us to get up into p6 so if we can stay on the back of uh, semi by here it is a free of a 3.75 second penalty 
uh, we should be in with a shout to finish in front of him he does if he does get uh, near to the front uh, but we've come all the way to lap four now and we're still on the back of him nothing much has really changed because he dives it right up of the inside of caesar salad there and uh, manages to somewhat take p14 or p4 i will say he does have the bit extra straight line speed i don't know don't know if he's uh, using the clutch uh, i will say so he might have that bit of a, a benefit on the straight line compared to other people we're using it as well and i will say especially in this series it makes it a lot faster your car especially in a straight line you can see when you go side by side down a straight your car just pulls away and i think to be honest with you i think around this track on the straight i think you could probably pull maybe about two or three tenths in a straight line which is quite a lot of time um so you might as well learn to use it it can be quite annoying sometimes like um i i quite often miss gears sometimes and it you know it's sort of like i don't know what it does like over the car and then it like grinds the gears to get through into the next one uh, and it takes a bit more time and slows you down but that doesn't happen all the time i guess um i've only been using it for i think about a month now and uh, not all the time you can use it in the series because i think it if it's you have the is it the it's something to do with the gearboxes i think there's uh, three types i think there's the street gearboxes there or sport gearbox which is um sort of semi-auto where you've got to use the clutch to go up gear but to go down a gear you, you don't have to use it and then you've got these sort of i think like the race gearbox where you basically don't have to use the clutch at all you can just use the gear up and gear down uh, button uh, if you didn't know it in the game but we've come all the way to lap six now yeah semi by hasn't really gotten away from us we're still behind him and he's managed to get up into p2 here so coming through the final two corners this should be a good P2 in the end. It was a bit of a, a hectic race, a lot of free wide moments, but it was a, a good one, an interesting one nonetheless. And uh, I don't think we quite had the pace over him. We had a quite a, a high level as well. You can see there, Prestige 1 level, 194, who managed to finish first. But here we come to Silverstone, which we were, I think we were the fastest guy by quite a way. Um, like I said, we're Maple Valley and this track, I'm quite comfortable uh, around these two tracks. Uh, I feel like I can take a lot of speed going into the corners. And uh, yeah, I think we had quite a bit of pace over everyone around here. Unfortunately, uh, I can't quite remember what lap it was, but we do get taken out. I don't know if it was by accident because um, he seemed to sort of let us go and not uh, defend as aggressively as we, we overtook him a bit later on. Uh, but it is, uh, it is a bit annoying that sometimes it can happen and it just ruins your race and they don't really get a penalty for it. Uh, but we can see coming through sort of turn two here into maggots coming down the i think it's this is the wellington shirt or the hanger shirt i always forget which one it is uh, but we've got a massive amount of momentum coming down it because of the clutch you can see the amount of time you can make up and uh, i actually first started using it once i was doing the historic racing buddies um league racing series i've only done one race i haven't done it since uh, because it just takes up a bit too much uh, too much time and it is on a Saturday now, which is a bit of an inconvenient time to, to do it for me. But um, yeah, I used it in that sort of series when we did the, I think it was the sort of uh, trials to see what racing category you was in. And uh, we did it around Suzuka, the short circuit. And I felt like I did like most of the practice for the week and I felt like I was putting in really good laps. And then we, once we got to it, I was about three or four attempts off. And I realised on the straight, those guys were using clutch and they were just pulling away massively uh, down the straight, which was just basically, yeah, I couldn't really do anything about it and I was just losing loads of time. So that's when I started to use uh, the clutch a lot more in the game. And uh, yeah, it made me, it makes you a lot faster if, if you want to use it. Uh, I know in this year's game, it's a bit more longer for you to change gear. You have to hold it down like a split second longer. That's why I think I feel like I miss gears a bit more. It's a bit sort of weird to, to use sometimes, but you know, it, it, you might as well use it if it makes you faster. It's a little bit of a, a skill curve you've got to learn, um, but uh, you'll, you'll learn it in like easy time. Uh, like I've never used it in any other game before, any other Forza game. I think I pretty much uh, managed to learn it in a couple of days, uh, in like a, a few hours, I think overall. So yeah, I think I, w I do recommend using it, but here we come alongside into cops i believe it is i could be wrong but we got managed to go side by side a bit like hamilton and max did fortunately we don't make contact but for, uh, unfortunately we are going to make con contact down into maggots uh this is the guy who is going to ram us we're going to go to the inside of the apex we can see 
he's riding all over the apex there and uh, there was no way he was going to get through it was basically our corner and he's just tapped the back end of our car and uh, we've la managed to lose quite a bit of time but we've come all the way to lap four now a lap later and we've managed to close him down quite a bit now and we can see he didn't get a penalty for that so that just shows the penalty system isn't working so you might as well not make it severe uh, because you know the it ram in there and takes me out and it still gets no penalty it's just pointless at this point uh, but we can see coming through um at the end of Lafayette now uh, down the old pit lane straight we managed to take p3 once again we're going to be a bit more cautious coming into maggots now uh, that is not going to just dive bombers and take us out because that's what i was kind of feeling like we can see there we go a bit wide uh, through cops i believe it is and uh, we get a 1.2 second penalty there so he gets zero penalty for taking me out down into here but i get a 1.2 second penalty for going a bit wide uh, that's just a fine example of the forza motorsport penalty system working uh, which is a very very annoying but we come all the way to the last lap now uh, we're just basically trying to close down these guys in front of us uh, unfortunately the 1.2 second pallet is going to affect us here and kind of ruin our race I, I would agree that we did go wide and we could possibly get a warning maybe or you know like a 0.2 penalty but we definitely make up, didn't make up 1.2 seconds uh, through there uh, but you know that's just sort of what what the um, force is in at the moment uh, you can't really do much about it. I'm just waiting. That's the biggest update I've been waiting for is just the penalty system Because um, I mostly do free play and multiplayer and that's just sort of the biggest thing what affects it But coming through the old pit lane straight we managed to get the momentum on Torti Viadas and take P2 But it's not gonna be P2 because of our penalty in the end there unfortunately and uh, Yeah, I hope you somewhat enjoyed them two races. I didn't really enjoy the second race there, but you know, we've just got to wait until uh, they fix it in update 7, I believe it is.